Monster and today we're making a spicy soft tofu seafood soup. Sounds like a mouthful, but it's all of those different ingredients and flavors that are going to come together to make a really flavorful and satisfying soup. The very first thing I'm going to do is heat up my broth. And I just have some mushroom broth here. I'm going to pour that into my stone earthenware. And you can also just use a regular potter pan, whatever you have on hand, but this retains the heat and it makes everything so much more delicious, it seems like. So pour your broth in there. And in my little capsule here, I have just some anchovies, some dried anchovies and some pieces of kelp. I'm gonna combine it with my broth to make an even more denser, flavorful stock. After about 15 to 20 minutes has elapsed, I drained out my mesh net. To that I want to add in my ingredients, or I want to begin to. Sprinkle in my garlic and my peppers. I just have a jalapeno pepper. You can use a milder pepper if you'd like. Slide in the rest of that garlic. I have some onions that I sliced. You want to sink those in there as well. And this is going to be a portion for just myself, but a full pot, a list of the ingredients for a full pot will be listed on my blog, thesquishymonster.com. So that I want to drizzle in some fish sauce and some sesame oil, which is what I've got going on here, the two different shades of amber. I want to drizzle that in. And then I want to bring this to a bubble, a fierce bubble, and let it go just so all the flavors marry together before I put in the seafood that cooks off very rapidly. And don't forget to add in one of your star ingredients, your hot pepper flakes. Sprinkle that in there too so it gets the chance to bloom. When it begins to bubble like so, you want to start adding in your seafood. And I have a variety of seafood in my bowl. I have some cuttlefish that I cleaned and rinsed. Toss that in there. Some of the tentacles. Let's drop that in there too. I have some crab legs. Then drop in some shrimp that I deveined. I have some clams as well. It's going to just be a mixed variety. Make sure they're closed tightly. And if they don't open after you've cooked them, toss them out. So just continue tossing in some of my seafood. When it comes to a beautiful bubble like this, you want to add in the very, very star ingredient, the soft tofu. So it's silken tofu. It comes in um, like a long tube or a log or a brick like this. And you just want to crumble it up and just start crumbling it on top of the soup and it'll just kind of drop down, become part of the soup, some of it will float on top, and it adds really nice body and volume to the dish. So just in a freeform way, just kind of tumble in your soft tofu. Not a science, just kind of drop it in there, and because it's so porous, it'll start, the soup will start seeping into the tofu and flavoring it, so it's really great to jazz up bland tofu, just like this. So don't forget to salt and pepper. You want to do that throughout the process of the soup, but I like to finish it off with a little bit of salt and pepper at the end. And don't forget that the fish sauce has lots of salt in it, so just be mindful of that. Lots of fresh, coarse black pepper. Here we have our egg. Drop it in there. And I'm basically going to sprinkle the top with lots of green onions. Turn off the heat and put the lid on it, just like this. Let's see what's going on underneath this hot cauldron. It's just been bubbling away, making the whole house smell like deliciousness. So let's see what's going on underneath. Ooh, still bubbling, doing its thing. Ah, can't wait to give this a try. There's so much going on. The butteriness of the crab and the sweet succulents, the shrimp. By the way, you can use whatever seafood you like or what's on sale. I just did the latter, so I'm gonna go in for a bite to see how it tastes. <laughs> See, it looks hot, but I don't care. Mmm, <laughs> that is... That is amazingly buttery and rich and velvety. It is so, so comforting. I hope you guys give this a try, even if you aren't, if you're put off by the soft tofu. Like I said, it just kind of gives kind of um, body and depth to the dish. It kind of is very soft in the backdrop and absorbs all the different flavors going on in the soup. If you're a fan of seafood and spicy, definitely give this a try. Can't wait to chow down on this tonight for dinner. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. This is the Squishy Monster, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!